All right, we've got one here. If I can remember to do them as I go through, we'll make a little, what do we do? This, I just looked at the date on it. It's a 1960. And it's odd thing, but I get so many Bibles that come in pairs. Last week, I was dealing with two customers that had the same first name. And now I've got two Bibles that are close to identical. And that's got some complete separation there. It is just coming apart there. And uh, talked with the customer. We're going to uh, replicate it as much as we can. I'm going to pull it apart in a second or two. I'm not doing the zipper, though. I can pull it apart. This one's got a little bit of repair that needs to be done to it. If I think about it, I will pull the camera out again once I take the thing apart. The neat stories behind each Bible, I tell you, I was just talking to somebody on the phone that has somebody that wants their, I think, grandmother's Bible done. And, and I, this one is, some, is, is the fellow's grandfather, if I'm not mistaken. And this one, or the other one, is uh was their grandfather's ordination bible you know so uh i i assume grandfather's off the scene i don't know that uh but you know these things are passed down and uh you know cherished possessions and people want to want to make them new again that's that's about done right there well i'll do my best to remember to make this video step by step and we'll see what we come up with well, it has been just a minute or two, not long at all. And if you've watched these before, I slice right down through there, both sides, and it come right out pretty easy. That's what we wind up with. Now that thing is, uh, you know, close to 60 years old. I guess it is 60 years old. And uh, zipper just wore out. You can see where it's just come apart right there. And you see, you know, they, that's, uh, I don't think that's just a fake leather, but uh, that's what you wind up with inside of there. I'm not being critical, but that's uh, what you, what is inside of there. Look how brittle that is. Now, if you're wondering, nobody gets these when I, unless they ask. And uh, look at that. Lots of wear and tear. I try not to get too, uh, uh, what do you say? investigating in people but these bibles when they're old and more out been read been marked up that one right there has got a complete separation but i just checked it out and the signature is completely sewn and intact so we'll do some work on that and more than likely i'll show it uh here towards the end I'm not ready to do a whole walkthrough of what to do but uh We'll just see. Maybe I'll get itchy and pull the camera out. All right, this is the culmination of the video. I showed uh, the teardown of this thing and the condition that it was in. And I just haven't gotten around to showing an actual doing it. And this customer, uh, the only... Uh, what do you say? Specifications given were to replicate it as close as possible. And um, that's why it's stamped like that, down to the cap letters. And we'd, we had already discussed it. I, I'm not going to put a zipper in. I've done some zippers in times past on Bible covers, but I'm just not ready to put one in a Bible. This one, if you remember, see, it'll be four or five days since I made that other video, but it was completely torn apart right in there somewhere. And if you're just wondering how things turn out, you know, that shows the repair or what have you. If it's, uh, back together in one piece solid. Ready for many more miles. This one dates back, uh, was the person's grandfather's Bible. And uh, 
dates back to 1960. And uh, that's be, well, yours truly. I graced this world with my presence in 1966. <laughs> I'm 57, so we do the math on how old this thing is. And, um, you know, I don't like to make statements. I can't, you know, quantify what have you. But this thing will last. I started to say it'll be good for another 50, 60 years. I would sure hope so. I just don't like to overstretch what I, what I, what I, what I say, you know. But she'll be good for a long time. Good to go. I get a lot. I think uh, this one, I had a recent video working on this Bible and another Bible. Both of them were grandparents' Bibles. The... Um, Trying to thank you. I've got one coming that is a uh, uh, Bible that's uh, uh, grandmother's, I think it is. And uh, actually, I think it's a rather senior grandmother, and it's her grandma's Bible. I get a lot of those where, you know, it's handed down to you and would like to get them rebound. And uh, when you do, they're in good shape. They're readable. They're doable. Carryable. They're not going nowhere. This is a uh, goat skin on the outside. Unless told otherwise, I think to date I've only done two Bibles where I didn't put the raised hubs. You can do tooled hubs as well. I have one recently that had absolutely nothing on the top of there. That's about the smallest yap I do. That measures uh, shooting for three-eighths of an inch. I always kind of I remeasure everything when I get done to see how close I got. I think that was within a 32nd of an inch. I forget which way. But uh, true and steady all the way around. Good for a long time to come.